Hello and welcome back to our Lord of the Rings LCG solo progression series. And today's quest is Journey Along the Anduin, which is, of course, the second scenario in the core set. And we'll only be using cards naturally from the core set in this deck since this is a solo progression series. Uh, the deck name is They Have a Hill Troll. And uh, the reason that we're using that is obvious. If you've played this game, you've experienced that moment when you added the hill troll to the staging area and you thought they have a hill troll. <laughs> it's kind of it's how Boromir must have felt in the movies. But uh, uh, it's just a rite of passage for anybody that plays Lord of the Rings LCG. And so this is my, my take on a deck for dealing with this quest. Let's get to it and see how we do. Uh, before we do setup, let's look at our hand. And I'm going to mulligan this hand. I like that I have four snare, but I'm going to mulligan. Okay, that's a better hand. So it was a good, good call. Okay, so here is setup for Journey Along the Anduin. To the river, emerging from Mirkwood Forest with an urgent message for Lady Galadriel, you must now make your way south along the Anduin River in order to reach the Forest of Lorien. As you leave the forest behind, you notice that you are being pursued and thus quicken your pace. Set up. Each player reveals one card from the top of the encounter deck and adds it to the staging area. That card is going to be Despair. Okay, so it's a freebie. It doesn't do anything because there are no progress tokens in play. Okay, so now we will flip over to 1B. Got to make eight progress to advance. As you approach the location of a small raft stashed on the riverbank, a fearsome hill troll emerges from behind a group of rocks and attacks. When revealed, search the encounter deck for one hill troll, if one is not in play already, and place it in the staging area. And then we shuffle the encounter deck. And then this bold uh, text at the bottom is really important. Players cannot defeat the stage while any hill troll cards are in place. So we, in a sense, even though we have to make the eight progress, really the key is, is defeating the hill troll. And again, it's that sort of um, memorable moment. Hill Troll, 30 engagement costs. And so he's he, with this deck, we're at 25. So we potentially don't have to deal with him for five rounds as our threat would only go up by one during each refresh phase. Uh, he only contributes one threat, so that's not bad. But he does attack for six, which is bad. Has a combined health and defense of 12, which is crazy at this point in the game. Excess combat damage dealt by Hill Troll must be assigned as an increase to your threat. So if he attacks a one health character, that's gonna be six versus one. So that's five excess damage. That would be converted to a five threat increase. So he basically is punishing us for chumping. Okay, but uh, so we'll have to deal with him. And the good news is when you defeat Hill Troll, he does go to the victory display. So. He would never come back out in some form or fashion. Okay, so resource phase. All right, so that's good. Uh, forest snare is a good thing to have. We definitely want to see one eventually. Let's see what's coming with Denethor. Eastbite, that's good. Okay, we're going to quest with Eowyn and Theodred. And Theodred is going to give a resource to Eowyn. With his response, after Theodred commits to a quest, choose a hero committed to that quest, add one resource to that hero's resource pool. And I neglected to really spell out Denethor's action. Exhaust Denethor to look at the top card of the encounter deck. You may move that card to the bottom of the deck. So we took that action during planning and looked, and I didn't move it to the bottom because I, I want to actually reveal that. Okay, so that's our planning phase uh, and quest phase now. And so Theodred gave the resource to Eowyn. So we reveal during staging the East Bite, and we made three progress. And during travel phase, we will travel to the East Bite. And uh, even if we didn't want to, we have to. It says when faced with the option to travel, the players must travel to the East Bite if there is no active location. All right, refresh, next round. Okay, let's look at what's coming with Denethor. It's Marsh Adder. And I don't really mind Marsh Adder too much. Um, but let's just bury it. I mean, because my threat is going to be under 40 for so long. But it is three uh, threat in the staging area. So let's bury Marsh Adder. And then let's put an Unexpected Courage onto Denethor. And ready him to do his action again. Gladden Fields. Yeah. 
So same threat, but then I have the ability to easily deal with Gladden Fields with uh, these guys, uh, Snowborn Scout, and also with Northern Tracker eventually. Okay, so we're in planning. Let's play the Steward of Gondor card onto Theodrid. And then let's just get our willpower where we want it. Let's put Calabrian Stone onto Eowyn, which gives her plus two willpower. And we will quest with Theodrid and Eowyn. Theodrid, when he exhausts to quest, is going to give a resource to Eowyn. All right, we reveal Gladden Fields, and we made three progress. And we will refresh and go on to the next round. Okay, so this is fun to get to do. Uh, we're going to play Son of Arnor. So when Son of, Son of Arnor enters play, choose an enemy card in the staging area or currently engage with another player and engage that enemy. So I'm going to bring Hill Troll down during planning, and that allows me to then put a Forest Snare onto Hill Troll. Uh, because when you attach to an enemy engage uh, attach to an enemy engage with a player attached enemy cannot attack so he's incapacitated and uh, now we don't have to worry about this threat increase issue so that combination's not always something that gets to fire but uh, I'm glad I got to capture that on the playthrough here okay so let's look at what's coming with Denethor wargs let's bury that one of my least favorite cards in this quest and then Evil Storm is a freebie, so we will uh, just hang tight. Uh, well, let's put this uh, this unexpected courage onto Denethor and ready him. We're going to quest with Theodrid and Eowyn. We're going to give the resource to Eowyn. Okay, we reveal Evil Storm. When revealed, deal one damage to each character controlled by each player with a threat of 35 or higher. We, we have a threat lower than 35. Made four progress. One, two, three, and four. East Bite is discarded. Now, I don't want to travel to Gladden Fields because when it's the active location, uh, my threat increases by one during the refresh phase. I'm not worried about three threat and staging. Eventually, I'll get rid of this using Northern Tracker and Snowborn Scout, so I'll just leave that there. But now during combat, uh, Hill Troll will get his Shadow card, but he just can't attack. And, and we're discarding the Gladden Fields. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, during the action window after the shadow cards were dealt, let's look at what's coming. It's Necromancer's Reach. Uh, it's almost not so bad because it's just one damage on exhausted characters, which would be Eowyn and Theodra. They can take the hit. But sometimes in stage two, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and bury Necromancer's Reach. Okay, now Son of Honor could attack for two, uh, and let's just say he does, but it doesn't do anything. So we'll discard the Shadow card, and now we refresh, and we're moving on to round four. I don't really feel like putting out the Snowborn Scouts yet because I can't quite uh, send Vic Gladdenfields to the victory display. So I'm just going to keep kind of doing what I'm doing for now. Okay, that's good. All right, we're going to quest with Theodrid and Eowyn. And um, we'll give Eowyn a resource. Actually, I'm just going to quest with, with uh, Eowyn and I won't give uh, her a resource. Okay, we're going to reveal Driven by Shadow. When revealed, each enemy and each location currently in the staging area gets plus one threat until the end of the phase. And then it says that there are no cards in the staging area. Driven by Shadow gains Surge, but it didn't Surge. And uh, Eowyn quested for six versus the four in staging, so that's two progress on the quest. And now Hill Troll just can't attack but he does get his shadow card we will attack with Theodrid and Son of Arnor for four and just put a single damage on Hill Troll we'll kind of whittle away at him let's look at what's coming with Denethor Goblin Sniper let's move that to the bottom of the deck and again 
Misty Mountain Goblins. Let's move him to the bottom of the deck. Okay, end of combat, we discard shadow cards, refresh on to the next round. Okay, good, some card draw, we needed that. So Glaywine's gonna come into play. Gladly, we play Glaywine. All right, cool, here is our Northern Tracker. Let's see what's coming. All right. Things are working out well. Let's go ahead and just put out Northern Tracker for now. I'm going to save these Snowborn Scouts. They can't really do anything right now. There's no chumping needed this round. Okay, so we're going to quest with just AON and Northern Tracker. And Northern Tracker, when he exhausts a quest, when he commits to a quest, place one progress token on each location in the staging area. So we'll just whittle away. In three rounds, Gladden Fields will leave play. Okay, so we reveal Treacherous Fog. When revealed, each location in the staging area gets plus one. I just, uh, I just put it on the Treachery card, these kinds of boosts, until the end of the phase. Then each player with a threat of 35 or higher chooses and discards one card from hand. Our threat is under 35. So one, two, three, progress. And then the Hill Troll will get his card. Can't attack. We'll attack for two and four. And so that's one damage on Hill Troll. And Enchanted Stream is discarded as the, uh, what? Before the end of combat, I'll use Denethor to look at what's coming. Each player raises his threat by one for each character he controls that is not currently committed to the quest. That's not, that's not a bad card. I'll just commit everybody. Except for uh, Glaywine because I don't want to miss out on the card draw. Okay, so let's draw that card with Glaywine. And then I'm going to quest with Theodred, Eowyn, Denethor even, and Son of Arnor, and Northern Tracker. And I put a progress on Gladden Fields uh, using Northern Tracker's response. And so we reveal, Pursued by Shadow, when revealed, each player raises his threat by one for each character he controls that is not currently committed, committed to the quest. And so I'm going to raise my threat by one, because only Glaywan was not committed. Should have done Theodred's action. Let's put that resource on Denethor. Okay, we made six progress. Okay, uh, Shadow card to Hill Troll, which won't matter. Let's just, we'll discard it. Let's use Denethor's action. Banks of the Anduin is great. Okay, end of combat, we will discard the shadow card. Next round. Okay, we're definitely building up resources here. And we'll draw a card with Glaywine. Uh, let's go ahead and put this Airborne Hammersmith into play just so that he can join Son of Arnor and Theodrid in attacking the Hill Troll. We can whittle him down. Okay, so I'm just questing with Ar Eowyn and with Northern Tracker. Northern Tracker is going to send Gladdenfields to the victory display. Okay, we reveal Banks of the Anduin, six progress. And we'll travel to Banks of the Anduin, shadow card for Hill Troll, and he just can't seem to attack us. Okay, we're going to attack for two, three, four, five, and um, six. So we got Hill Troll up to five damage. Okay, let's ready Denethor and look at what's coming. Misty Mountain Goblins we don't want to deal with. And we're looking again. Evil Storm, that's a free round. Refresh. And next round. I'm at the 15 resources on Theodred. Let's draw a card with Glaywine. I'm kind of stalling here just a little bit, but actually I think we can go ahead and destroy Hill Troll. Uh,
see if we just quest with Aon, this card is going to not do anything to us. Our threat is under 35, and she'll make six progress. Obviously, the progress isn't an issue, but we will clear Banks of the Anduin. Then that the problem with clearing Banks of the Anduin is it'll become the shadow card for Hill Troll. It's a little bit of a bummer. But then we could attack for two. Well, we could leave it as the active location. That's a good idea. So let's not quest maybe at all. So we don't have to. So two, three, four, five, six, seven would be enough to kill Hill Troll. So we won't commit anybody to the quest here. We're going to reveal Evil Storm. When revealed, deal one damage to each character controlled by each player with a threat of 35 or higher. Our threat's under 35. All right, and so now during combat, Hill Troll will get a shadow card. He can't attack. We'll attack for two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, that was enough. So we uh, destroyed Hill Troll and sent it to the victory display. And so now Four Snare is discarded as well as a shadow card. And that means that we can move on past 1B because we definitely have the necessary progress and there are no Hill Troll cards in play. So 2A, Anduin Passage. After defeating the troll, you are able to board the raft and embark upon a river voyage. As you depart, your enemies pursue, harassing the small vessel as you attempt to navigate the, the river. All right, so a pretty hefty 16 progress needed to move on. As, you're, as your enemies harass the raft, it is difficult to maintain balance and effectively fight them off. Reveal one additional card from the encounter deck each quest phase. Do not make engagement checks during the encounter phase, but you can make a engagement, uh, to optionally engage an enemy. Okay, so we definitely want to make sure there are no, uh, the first card, that, you know, we won't know what the second was, one is that comes out, but we want to at least control uh, the encounter deck in such a way that the first card that comes out doesn't bother us, which this is a good one to come out. It's a free card, as we've experienced a couple of times. So on to the next round. All right, Gandalf. That's kind of what I was hoping to see eventually. Let's draw a card with Cleowine. Okay, we're going to draw some mad cards here. Time to have some fun. Okay, so we don't know what the second card is. It's coming out. But uh, during questing... Well, let's do this, just in case we need to chump somewhere. Uh, nope, I'll hold back on Snowborn Scout. Uh, let's go ahead and play Gandalf during the questing phase, during that uh, action window before committing characters. We're going to play Gandalf and draw three cards. And we're going to quest with him and with uh, Eowyn. And Theodrid will give a resource to Eowyn. And then I want to have four attack ready in case one of those goblin guys comes out. So I'm going to leave Northern Tracker ready as well as Son of Arnor. I mean, obviously Son of Arnor doesn't contribute any willpower. No reason to quest with uh, Son of Arnor. Uh, we'll quest with Erebor Hammersmith. Now let's leave him ready. Okay, we reveal two cards. The first one is Evil Storm. When revealed, deal one damage to each character controlled uh, by each player with a threat of 35 or higher. So that's just another whiff. And then East Bite. All right, very good. We made 10 progress. One, two, three, and seven. When we clear Banks of the Anduin, it goes back to the encounter deck on top. We'll travel to East Bite. We have to. Before, before travel, at the end of questing, Gandalf should have come back to our hand. And uh, whenever he came back to our hand, he left play. And so we're going to play two copies of Valiant Sacrifice Response. After an ally card leaves play, that card's controller draws two cards. So one, two, and you can do multiple responses uh, in, in response to one trigger. So we're going to play two of those, one, two, and one, two. There's Faramir, so we are 
about to destroy this quest. Which is fun to do. Okay, so we know what's on top of the deck. It is the Banks of the Anduin. And I think next round we're going to move on to the final round. Okay, we will refresh. Just making sure I haven't forgotten something. Have not. Okay, refresh next round. Okay, here is Hinamarth. We haven't seen Hinamarth yet. Let's draw a card with Glaywine. And we'll exhaust the Steward of Gondor. Let's play Faramir. So he is in play with his awesome action. And then we'll just put out all, put out all of our allies. One, two, three. It's going to be uh, Snow, uh, Son of Arnor. There is a location that its threat is X, which is, is it in this deck? It might not be. It might be in the Hunt for Gollum. Okay, one, two. So I'm not going to say that again until I remember for sure. Let's play this Galadrim's Greeting. One, two, three. Lower our threat by six. Uh, we're going to play Hinamarth River Song. And we're going to play Airborne Hammersmith. And when he enters play, we can grab the topmost attachment out of the discard pile and grab it and add it to our hand. That's only if he is played from our hand. All right. One, two. Let's go ahead and put out both Snowborn Scouts. And when they interplay, we'll put two progress on the east side. I just want to kind of quest past this stage. Uh, and then I'm also going to play Gandalf with Sneak Attack and lower my threat by five. Uh, not too worried about threat. Let's draw three cards. Okay, we're going to quest with everybody. Theodrid is going to actually... We're going to include Denethor and give him a resource from, from Theodrid. Uh, we're going to leave uh, Snowborn Scout, both Snowborn Scouts, ready as possible chumps. And we'll, we'll just stop there. We'll actually leave our Sons of Arnor ready as well. Okay, we're going to reveal Banks of the Anduin. And the second card we reveal during staging is the Brownlands. All right, so let's exhaust Faramir after staging and before quest resolution. Um... Okay, we're going to make enough progress to advance. So before we actually exhaust Faramir, well, we'll exhaust Faramir. Let's go ahead and just do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're at 26 willpower, which is going to be enough to see four. Yeah, you're, we're going to clear Anduin Passage. But before I actually go on to quest resolution during this action window, I'm going to go ahead and ready... Denethor, and just make sure, uh, okay, it's Banks of the Anduin. That's good. I don't want any enemy to be on top of the encounter deck because the enemies are about to be revealed when we move on to stage three. And so might as well bury any enemy any enemy that might would have come out. Uh, wait. Yeah. All right, so we reveal... I have already revealed a card. I got a little confused. I was thinking ahead and I forget where I'm at. Committed Theodred, committed, committed, committed. Committed, revealed, ba okay, revealed Banks of the Anduin. All right, so I already revealed a Banks of the Anduin. That's why I got confused. I was like, wait, I thought I re revealed the Banks of the Anduin. So yeah. And then added face down encounter card to the staging area, which was the brown land. So yeah, I already did staging. Sorry, I just got lost. All right, so now we're going to do quest resolution, and we made uh, 20 progress. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 16, which will be 23. And we cleared stage 2B. That leaves play. And so now we move on to uh, during questing. During this quest resolution, we just move on to 3B, 3A, I should say. Ambush on the shore. 
Uh, the ongoing harassment from your enemies has forced your raft to the shore, and you must now confront their ambush head on. If you survive this attack, the path to the Golden Wood should be open before you. Okay, so zero progress. When revealed, reveal two encounter cards per player and add them to the staging area. And then we will skip the staging step of the quest phase for the remainder of the game. So next round, if we're still playing the, the quest, we'll commit characters, but there won't be a card revealed. So kind of unique. But uh, the way you win this is not by making progress. You actually have to make sure there are no enemies in play. That's why I went ahead and made sure there wasn't an enemy on top of the deck. we got to reveal two cards. So the first one's Banks of the Anduin. We know it's not an enemy. If this is an enemy, then the game prolongs, but we'll actually, I think, be able to kill any enemy with, with Sneak Attack Gandalf. And it's not an enemy, so we just won the game. Because uh, once there are no enemies in play, the players have won the game. So that is it. Uh, ten rounds. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, trying to think if there's anything we didn't really see that ca that came into play. Um, I guess Protector of Lorien. The reason I have three Protectors of Lorien is partly because, well, mostly because if the Hill Troll attacks early somehow, there are times where the setup is not really favorable for us, and so I won't exhaust Denethor um, because I'm worried the Hill Troll is going to engage me in the first round or even the second round, and so Protector of Lorien on Denethor can boost him to six defense, which is enough to defend against Hill Troll. So there have been times where that Protector of Lorien on him has been helpful. But it's probably the least useful card in the in the deck, and uh, maybe the deck could be tweaked just a little bit in that way. But uh, thanks for joining me on on today's video, and I hope that you'll continue along as we continue uh, with our solo progression series. Uh, thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.